So you want a pressure treated wall. And this is a good alternative to a concrete wall. It's built correctly. This wall can last up to 25 years, if not more. Hope all is well and everyone is staying positive. In this video, we're gonna walk you through on what it takes to build a pressure treated wood wall the right way. You can check out part one, two, and three in the description below. Now most wood walls fail because of drainage, as you can see here. You can check out the video in the description where we go into details on what it takes to install a French drain for a wood wall. When we started the excavation to get our grade, it's amazing how many roots came out from the old plants we easily had a truck full. So after everything is all cleaned up, we establish our grade, we're ready for the post. And just like a concrete footing, we have to make sure that the posts line up straight and that they're plumb. Whenever we make a cut with the pressure treated wood, we apply a special sealant called copper coat. This helps seal the exposed part of the wood. In this build, we're going to use 2x12 pressure treated. Most of them are 20 feet long. We're going to use 3.5 inch screws to hold them together. In case you notice, we got a second wall up there. The process is pretty much the same. Of course, we had to help our friends out. We're putting back the patio furniture and the ping pong tape. Of course, I brought out the competition with one of her guys. We appreciate the hospitality. Clients offering us cold drinks every day with ice. That wraps it up for this project. Everyone stay focused, stay positive, and remember, it's cool to ask for help. If you're in the Bay Area, Sacramento, hit us up. Link in the description below. Make it a go.